Lack of iodine in the human body is the biggest promoter of disease. So all your heavy halogens, chlorine, bromine, fluoride, are going to displace iodine from your thyroid gland. That's exactly what they're gonna do. What's lack of iodine gonna do in the thyroid gland? It's gonna cause inflammation, cysts, nodules, cancer. What's lack of iodine gonna do in your breasts? It's gonna cause painful breasts. How many women say every month their boobs hurt? That's not natural, it's lack of iodine. So it's then gonna cause cysts, nodules, tumors. Fibrocystic breast disease does indeed lead to malignancy. Now, Cancer Research UK, I believe on their website, it used to say that it didn't. Well, I can tell you, yes, it does. There is a New England Medical Journal study with a cohort of 800 patients stating unequivocally that lack of iodine in the breast leads to fibrocystic breast disease. Lack of iodine in the ovaries, same thing. Lack of iodine in the stomach, same thing. There was a study done at the Great Lakes and they took boys and girls who had goiter. That's that big swollen neck. Why do you get goiter, lack of iodine in the thyroid gland? The ratio for boys and girls was one to one until those girls hit puberty. And then it was 10 girls to every boy would get goiter. Why? Because the developing breasts need the iodine and they will compete with the thyroid gland and pull that iodine to the breasts. That's exactly why. Now, unfortunately, people don't realize that when they are drinking their tap water, when they're using their fluoride toothpaste, or even when they're taking medication that has fluoride in it, and we're not telling you don't take it. If you wanna stop taking your medication, you always discuss that with your general practitioner, your doctor. But what happens is every single time that they're exposed to that, be it by drinking it, by inhaling it, by having a shower, standing in that vapor, and what do we hear people saying? Oh, I, um, I had my bath water too warm or my shower water too warm and I was overcome and I felt faint. No, 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 that's not what's happening. You're being gassed with chlorine gas in an enclosed space. That's what Cyclone Z was. So if you're doing these things and you're constantly depleting your thyroid gland, what's going to happen? It's gonna displace it all out. You're gonna get an underactive thyroid gland. What happens when our thyroid gland's underactive? Well, we need to know what our thyroid gland does first. Our thyroid converts when it releases, when it, when it does what it should, it converts cholesterol to pregnanolone, progesterone, and bile acid. And those two first ones are the youth-giving hormones. They keep everything supple and good. What do we need bile acid for? It's all part of our digestion. Now, when our thyroid gland is down, our adrenals are up, works like a seesaw. What do our uh, adrenals secrete? Adrenaline, cortisol, that fright and flight. If you keep having that, you're gonna make everything hard. So once your thyroid starts to go down, it affects everything. One of the things it affects is, is your stomach acid. You're not going to have enough stomach acid. And unless your stomach acid is 1.5 to 3.5, you're not going to extract your nutrients from your food. And where's an example of that? Okay, so let's look at the sun, converts the cholesterol in our skin to vitamin D. It's further supercharged in the body. Now, when we eat our food, our calcium, that that stomach acid extracts from our food, binds to that vitamin D, and then our vitamin K, K2, that's extracted from our foods because of that stomach acid, tells it where to go, go into the bones, go into the teeth. If we've not got enough stomach acid, it's not gonna do that. What are we gonna get? Osteoporosis, right there, right then. It's a really good book, The Iodine Crisis by Lynn Farrow. It's a book that I would suggest you all read. If you can't afford books, get together with your, your friends, your community, get a book circle going. Buy one book each and all read it. But certainly you should be thinking about non-fluoride toothpaste. If your dentist tells you, oh no, your, your teeth need fluoride, I'd get a different dentist if I were you because they really do not. And uh, non-fluoride toothpaste, if you, if you can't find it, I, I like Kingfisher, just use coconut oil. Get yourself a distiller if you can't afford one. Get some Highland Spring water. Don't tell me, oh, I can't afford to do that. Do you have a mobile phone? Do you have Sky TV? Do you have a cardio on holiday? Well, let me tell you, the most important vehicle that you could ever take care of is the one that is going to take you through life so that you can experience everything that is wonderful and beautiful about everything that's out there. That vehicle's your body.
So feed it well, feed it iodine.